You kind of feel like you've been here for a while, even... <gasps> Dude, there was just a shadow. There was just a freaking shadow. <gasps> Dude, there was just a shadow. This is, this is wild. Can you speak into my camera? <gasps> I just seen a shadow on that wall right there. Seen it again. Seen it again. Look, my feet are not moving and there's footsteps. What the shit? I just heard something right by help me. I'm a little scared to be here by myself. Well, here I am, guys, for part two. If you didn't see part one, it's the video before this one, obviously. Uh, I'm here at the Coffee County Jail. This place is extremely haunted. It's no joke. I'm out of town right now on a paranormal trip. I'm basically going to a handful of haunted places that I came across making videos for you guys. So please smash that thumbs up. It is free and don't hesitate to share on your social media. This place right here is on another level. Uh, there's no other way to say it, but it's on another level of paranormal. I came here during the day in the last video. I heard knocks. I seen a shadow figure or a shadowy presence. I don't really know what to make of it. I heard a lot of things come through the spirit box, but I also felt energies that I just can't explain. And maybe it's not paranormal. Maybe it's explainable. I don't think it is. I think it's paranormal. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, first off, no jail, no prison has a good vibe to it. But this place right here has more than its fair share of death and tragedy right here on these very stairs a local sheriff was shot down by a man named billy the gentleman waited across the street for him to come out or be in this area and he shot him and he killed him so that's one thing that we know that happened here now there there's a big rumor and i don't know if it's true or not but i've heard a bunch of people say this i don't know where they got it from that three men burned alive upstairs on the second floor I will tell you that's where a majority of the paranormal activity happens, but it happens throughout this place as well. Show you guys how dark it is in here. Wow. Hello? Hello? Now obviously I'm gonna be shooting with some night vision cameras. I'm all alone here on this investigation. Uh, came in here earlier today, had some experiences, and since I didn't have a hotel in this area, I've just kind of been waiting for it to get dark, and as you can see, the sun's dropping over there. Hello? Anybody in here? the area that creeps me out the most right here there was just a long scratch there was just a long drawn out scratch hello okay first thing I want to say is when you come to these places by yourself there's a major risk if something like a possession were to happen to me, and it's not going to, I'm very strong-willed and strong in my faith, but if it were, I would be in a bad situation because I'd have nobody here to help me out. And it has happened before. I have dealt with an attachment. Like I know a lot of you guys have if you're very heavily into the paranormal. If you're down there, can you make a noise? I want you to make a noise down there where you are at.
All right, guys, I'm gonna walk out here for a second, get some of my gear together. Uh, things that I plan on grabbing pretty quickly here. As soon as it gets dark all the way, I'll go ahead and I'll start my investigation inside. But uh, this is gonna be awesome, man. I mean, you know, despite all the tragedy here, this is a historic landmark and a lot of people appreciate it. I've seen a lot of people just stop by here today, take pictures. Uh, do some video and some really cool people man just to show you guys what the town looks like here tonight and I might be mistaken but I think that's an old funeral home right there there's the old governor's house right there really gonna do my best to get in that place if I can in the future you know when I stand out here and I'm looking at this place I'm just like oh my god I can't believe I'm gonna be in there by myself there's nobody even close if I wanted to call a friend or family uh, to come help me out there's nobody even near so that's it guys uh, gonna let the Sun go down completely and gonna go inside and hopefully we're gonna document some stuff all right guys I just came upstairs and I don't remember this being up here today it looks like it's wet right there something right there and there's a bucket that obviously had some dead fish in it Ugh, it reeks. Oh, that is so creepy. Just kind of checking it out a little bit before I go night vision. I hope you're not gonna be quiet tonight. Has there been rituals performed in here? Send help. Can you speak? Oh, my light just did something weird. Can you speak into my camera? Did you just make a noise? What? I don't know where it's coming from. What's this thing? Get out while you can. Guys, I have a thermal camera here. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of film the screen and sweep the place a little bit and see if we see anything. Whoa, it almost looked like there was something manifesting in that hallway over there. Hello? Was that you in the stairwell? Can you come up in that stairwell, please? Dude, it sounds like there's something like walking around in here with me. Dude, my light went out. I can take a picture of you if you walk in front of this. Listen, I said this earlier today. I don't mean you no harm at all. I just want you to show yourself. Can you please do that? There was just something down there. I don't know if we got that, but there was just something down there. Was that you? Can you do that again? Bro, what the f was that? I, I think I seen you. 
Is that you? Can you wave at me? Can you do it slower, please? It's changing like crazy. Please show yourself to me. I didn't get it, I didn't get it. All right guys, so I got my night vision camera. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start the investigation. It's dark, I've done a check on this place just to make sure, because sometimes homeless people do sleep in here. Uh, I seen some sketchy gentlemen here earlier, looking like they were gonna come in here until they seen that I had an arrest in the place. And uh, well anyway, wish me the best, here we go. All right guys, I'm night vision mode right now. I hope you can see me. The vibe in here is just, it's crazy. It's not even like just cold, it's like cold, it's hot. There's like different pockets of like spiritual temperatures everywhere you walk in here, it's crazy. Uh, I caught something on the thermal cam a few different times. Are you here right now? Can you touch this railing if you're here? Can you do this? Can you do this right here? Are you standing here with me? All of a sudden it's getting really blurry. I don't know if that's the same sound, but... Can you do that? <gasps> Will you show me your presence? <laughs> just something just push me. Can you tell me what did that? Okay, so after many, many attempts of trying to capture something with the camera, I got... Did you guys hear that? Sounds like 
chains. Like shackles and chains. Chains or shackles, right? Dude, this is so crazy. I didn't get anything on the camera, but I'm gonna keep trying, man. We've used the thermal so far. Uh, we're about to use the ghost meter. We just did some spirit photography. We're gonna capture some stuff, I know we are. There's no way this place is more haunted during the day than it is at night. All right guys, I'm back here in the room with the pentagram on the floor. If you've seen the last video, I did this same experiment. I put the Beats Pill speaker on the pentagram and I ran the Necrophonic app. I'm gonna do that same thing again right now. It's nighttime, I said I would come back. Is there anything, anybody that wants to communicate? I heard Dave and I definitely heard no. What, you don't want to communicate with me? choose to stay here or do you feel like you're stuck here? Do you still feel like as you are jailed? There are some crazy voices coming through here right now. Can you tell me, is there something standing in the room with me here right now? Yeah, yeah, I said yeah. What? Is there something evil in here right now? It says help right here on the wall. And you guys can tell I'm in the dark. I have no idea where I'm going. Let me just show you guys real quick. If I take night vision off, this is what I see. Bam, that's what I see. Night vision on, this is what I see. This sounded like there was something that walked into the room. Do you want me to leave? <laughs> Did something happen on this stairwell? General. Hurt. Wow, that sounded evil as can be. Are you here right now? I heard Tom and then I heard Tommy. Who is Tommy? Tommy, what happened here? Can you 
guys see my light over there in that window? I just seen it do something crazy a second ago. Can you do that again? My light right there in that window. Can you turn it off? Okay guys, I put a ghost meter right here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there and see if anything can make it go off while I'm scouring for some spiritual activity. Listen to me. My light is getting dim. I might have to go back to night vision in a second here. If you're in here with me right now, I want you to come up, I want you to... Bro, look, can you do that again? What the hell? Dude, it's steady going off. Is that the warden? Is that the sheriff that was shot on the steps? Keep it going off if that's you. Light it all the way up. Hit it as hard as you can. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? If I come closer, will you stop? Dude, something keeps grabbing me. Something keeps grabbing me. Bro. Whoa. Something's working its way over here. Something just pushed me when I was walking over here. Something was grabbing me and then it's pushing me. This thing's going off. All right, man. So I just came out of here because somebody walked in the back door. It was a homeless person. It looks like they walked off, but to be honest with you guys, I'm not 100% sure. It's a little eerie when you're in a place like this all by yourself and somebody walks in the back door and just kind of now somebody goes by bumping their music. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's a little eerie whenever you're in here doing a professional investigation and you got to worry about random people coming in here. It's a little, it's a little more scarier than the spiritual stuff that's going on here. So yeah, I have no idea now if I got to worry about that on top of my investigation or if the guy even left. Yo, you still back there? I almost feel like it was a little more scarier or a little more active. Um, what the hell? We haven't got back here. Wow. Uh, during the day. But we definitely have caught some stuff tonight. I mean, I didn't get grabbed uh, like I did tonight during the day, so. Just watch my camera drop 17%. 17%. Is that you? Did you do that? Listen, I want you to speak into my camera and tell me what you think about what happened here tonight between you and I. What would happen if I stand on this pentagram? Nothing? Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I feel a little weird, but I don't hear or see anything happening. But I feel a little tingly. That's the door right there where he walked into. Wouldn't that be crazy if it actually wasn't a real person, if it was like a spirit or like some kind of angel? Yo.
both my camera lights died, brand new batteries. My camera I'm filming with dropped. Listen, if you make me feel like I'm not welcome, I, I won't come back here again. Don't do that to me. I came a long way to communicate with you. Wow, that is bad. That is real bad. What if I prayed for you? Would that be okay? In Jesus' name, God, I ask that you please wrap your hands around the spirits here. You surround them with your love. Either they didn't like that or they just woke things up. I'm gonna finish my prayer now if you don't mind. God, please wrap the spirits here in your arms. Surround them with your love, your light. Help guide them, give them guidance. Take them, bring them to where they wanna be. If it's not here, bring them to where that is. They were jailed here long enough and maybe some of them feel that they can't move on. Show them that they can move on. Almost like the place started falling apart on me all of a sudden. I mean, this is rough for sure, but I don't see anything falling, and that's exactly what it sounds like. I don't know if they're throwing things at me or if it's falling on me or what. Guys, Jody Dean here, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Uh, another paranormal banger in the books. Tonight has been absolutely crazy. I, I really don't know. what. Which one do you think won? Part one or part two? I'd love to know in the comments below. Uh, did a daytime investigation here, a nighttime investigation. I feel like both were pretty lit. Um, I'm excited about this one as far as getting it into editing and actually seeing what we got because sometimes you just don't really know. Uh, you feel the grabs, you feel the energy, the pushes, and, and, and all the touches and stuff, the currents. Uh, but once you get into editing, then things start to make sense. And, and that's what I'm really looking forward to right now. And I just noticed it. It looked like a cross on my face for, for half a... Oh my God, that's pretty freaky. I did not intentionally... I did not intentionally do that. A lot of skepticism going on around here. Uh, homeless people walking in the back door, cars driving by. I'm in the middle... Uh, there's still things going. There's still things going on. I could probably be here all night long. Um, if you guys want me to come back, definitely leave it in the comments below. Maybe um, instead of being alone here, I could do it overnight with a buddy or something. Sounds like the whole place is coming down. Please smash that thumbs up, leave comments below, share this on your social media. Don't hesitate to become a member, a patron. Uh, to all the members and patrons out there, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Big shouts out to my... I can't even get through my outro, bro. Shit, it's... it's I mean, I could stay here. I don't have to leave, but... I feel like something bad's gonna happen and I don't even mean spiritual. I mean, like somebody could come in here and like rob me, dude, or kill me, like it could be really bad. All right, let's don't say all that. Guys, I love you. I'm gonna get out of here. Until next time, sweet nightmares.
That's some shit I ain't scared of. I don't give a duck about the scratches on the black cats. I'm the one in the graveyard with the black mask. I'm just killing beats like I was a stealth bomber. Every track I cut, doll, they call me Jeffrey Dahmer. Demon Slayer, man, he came a long way. Demon Slayer, man, that boy getting paid. Demon Slayer, he be grinding all day. Demon Slayer, man, you should be afraid. Demon Slayer, man, he came a long way. Demon Slayer. Man, that boy getting paid, Demon Slayer. He be grinding all day, Demon Slayer. Man, you should be afraid. 1 800, you should call the Demon Slayer. Cause you never know when the devil is your neighbor. Bitch, I come through like a ghost, busting Mad Max. Call the shit blood magic, I ain't talking tan packs. I see voodoo, I play Charlie Charlie. Got my Ouija board, about to have a ghost party. Sipping absinthe, trying to hallucinate. Gotta see the spirits, paranormal serenade. I'm the ghost man, every spirit know my name. Sister, sister, midnight man, damn, I love my haunted games. I'm just thinking what would happen if I quit hunting. It's too deep for life, bitch, I never quit nothing. Demon Slayer, man, he came a long way. Demon Slayer, man, that boy getting paid. Demon Slayer, he be grinding all day. Demon Slayer, man, you should be afraid. Demon Slayer, man, he came a long way. Demon Slayer, man, that boy getting paid. Demon Slayer, he be grinding all day. Demon Slayer, man, you should be afraid. Yo, they call me Demon Slayer, man, she say I'm semen flavor. All this have a screaming later, downer than a elevator. I ain't Steve Hump, but yeah, I got a bald head. Call me Zach Bagels, cause yeah, I make that cream spread. I got haunted dolls, I got haunted walls. I got haunted houses, yeah, she got pregnant walls. Looking in the mirror every time I hit these places. I'm about to honey cut up and hit CJ facing. I'm a madman, ass urban ghost. They call me white magic every other day I post. Yeah, hey man, I do, I post every other day. So make sure y'all subscribe and turn on those notifications. Ha. Demon Slayer, man, he came a long way. Demon Slayer, man, that boy getting paid. Demon Slayer, he be grinding all day. Demon Slayer, man, you should be afraid. Demon Slayer, man, he came a long way. Demon Slayer.